Hi, I'm Daniel Petruccio, and this is how I recreated Daredevil's costume for Marvel Becoming. Day one on this project, I sketched out a lot of things in my sketchbook, like the bodysuit and a rough idea of the gloves and the boots. Getting that first little bit of creativity in it was a little bit different. You know, on one hand, do your best work during something that's a little emotionally taxing. There was a lot of manufacture issues, getting things in even fabrics and such and are so scarce. Some of the fabric I ended up using is like some of the last manufactured of that fabric available. So there was no room for mistake. The construction usually starts with the first sketches, where I basically design where my lines are gonna go. And then basically I move that to some brown pattern paper, and I start building my pattern on the paper and taking my drawing and measuring out and seeing how I want this to go, where this seam needs to be. I got to the side panels of the suit, and I just felt like the same exact red was getting a little monotonous. So I paneled into the sides a nice ribbed red, just to create some contrast to this honeycomb material that the bodysuit is. From there, we cut out the pattern paper and we trace the pattern onto the back of the fabric. Once we have the fabric cut out, it's then a puzzle piece game of pinning it together and stitching it or pinning it together and going, mm, no, no, no. I got my friend Keith Hernandez to do the cowl and he sculpted it digitally in record timing in three days, basically. There's a muscle undersuit that was just tastefully done, not too much, not too little, and buckles that had a V on them. Other than that, it was just making sure the batons were those aluminum batons that you know. By the end, it's just kind of like you just take piece A, B, C, D, E, and then all of a sudden you're standing in your room with a daredevil costume. Thank you.